a couple exhibition games yesterday. Uh, big game for the Penguins. Not really. I mean, not really. They lose 3-2 in overtime to the Flyers after jumping out to an early. Connor Sheary with the first goal restart, and it was a beauty. Absolute rip top shelf. Uh, AQ, how did you feel about the game? Felt like, uh, to me, uh, great pace to start, and then about after about the first 10 minutes, things seemed to really drop off. But I felt like uh, the pace to start was good. I felt like the TV presentation was awesome. It was good to see the guys back out there and in shape. Uh, and then even though they kind of let off the gas a little bit, it was awesome to watch hockey on TV again. I agree. I think they did a heck of a job, man. I mean, I, it's obviously good to see hockey back. But the one, the one thing that I thoroughly um, enjoyed was the different camera angles. I, I really did enjoy that. You see some different things from up above. You see some, I thought they did a great job with the crowd noise. Uh, the game was sloppy, but that was to be expected. I think you're going to see that kind of earlier across the league, unless uh, you're Toronto or Edmonton, you just come out fucking slinging pucks at the net like they did last night. But, um, you know, other than that, I think I think this was a good start for the NHL, and I think it's a good look for them as well. Yeah, we're recording this mid afternoon and uh, during day two of the exhibition games here, and I just got done watching some of the Lightning Florida Panthers game, and uh, you were talking about sleepwalking. The Lightning looked like <laughs> yeah, the Lightning just beat the Panthers like a drum and slept walk through it to very casual uh, five nothing. Got a, got a good scrap in there too, a big tilt. Brian Boyle and Sergachev uh, threw some fists a little bit. Uh, interesting move fighting in a meaningless exhibition game during pandemic. I mean, I get it. They're in the bubble and they're safe, but still. Uh, and it's uh, like, let's go into the TV presentation. You mentioned it. A couple different camera angles. Not quite the sky cam, but I guess they have this robotic arm that they've attached to the bottom of the Jumbotron, and it's got like a 50-foot swing radius on it that can kind of follow up and down the ice. Um, I love the crowd noise. I felt I didn't think they overdid it. it, it only You only really noticed it when uh, a team scored and I did hear uh, when uh, I think it was when the Flyers took a penalty there was some booing going on that they pumped in a little bit make the rest feel right at home uh, was there anything you missed or 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 just kind of didn't expect to see or thought you would see and didn't see because what I've been told and what I've read is that the NHL only used about 10 10 to 15 percent of their uh tv presentation they didn't want to bust they didn't want to waste all the tricks they want to bring all the tricks out of the bag for these exhibition games they're saving the big stuff for saturday allegedly well that's interesting to hear i mean i think uh i think it'll be awesome once we see like the whole presentation because i mean i was thoroughly impressed i mean if if you know you're we're talking about the first game back um you know we're watching it, and it felt like a real game. I mean, yeah, you miss the fans. You notice it because you see the banners and whatnot. But at the end of the day, I thought the noise was solid. I thought it was synced well. I mean, like, within a second after Sheary's goal, you hear, like, the crowd cheering, like, as if it's, like, a Penguins home game. I thought they did a heck of a job. You know what it sounded um, like? You know what it felt like? It felt like an international game, like a world championship game or an Olympic game where, like, the fans aren't necessarily diehard home team fans of, of either country. They're they're typically just people there to watch a hockey game. They're not really cheering super hard for one team or the other. So like you got the eruptions when there was a goal scored, but like during play there wasn't the typical chance or anything like that. That's what it felt like. Yeah, I agree. And I think what one cool thing is, and especially you being, you know, a hockey guy and me enjoying the heck out of watching hockey, I think for the people that maybe aren't your everyday hockey fans, now you turn it on and you get to see this different presentation than you normally would. I think the cool thing for them, I don't think people realize like how fast and how hard they skate here in the ice, hearing yeah. all the different sounds of the game. I think that's pretty cool, especially obviously for us, but I think it's even it can be even cooler for people who maybe aren't your average hockey fan to tune in and get to hear those noises. And I know they're doing the five-second delay, so you're not going to get a whole lot of hot mic moments, but I wish they'd turn up the mic uh, near the ice a little bit because you can hear the guys yelling, and it still sounds like a regular broadcast, though. You can't really make out what they're saying. Like, I want to hear the... I want to hear the, like, chip it up, reverse, reverse, over here, wide, wide, wide. I want to hear that stuff, the on-ice communication. But I guess it still even does kind of get drowned out by literally the skate shredding the ice. That was the most... Uh, that was the most noticeable sound to me, and it didn't feel out of place. It felt like very much like watching a regular live broadcast game. It was guess, almost like watching like the the, the winter series games, right? Yes, like I, that's kind of what it felt like. To a me. winter classic game, yeah, an outdoor game. Yeah. It, it it didn't really make me miss live fans whatsoever, and uh, I thought they did a great job with that. I'm excited to see 
what the rest of that 80 to 90 percent is that they bust out i hope they don't do too much because like we were just talking about i think they got the crowd always right i don't think you need more of it i think they just i think they had it perfectly there